What's up guys, how y'all doing today? I'm coming at you with a very highly requested, very long awaited uh, tutorial video. I was kind of lazy with it, but now that I went ahead and brought back the, the weapon swap skin series, I decided, you know, might as well be a good time to bring a tutorial. Um, now it's been like a week since the, the last uh, video for the swap skins, but oh well, um, no better day to bring this video up than a Monday, am I right? No. I'm sure you guys would have loved it, <laughs> like, right after that last video came out. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So basically, um, to do this, you're going to need to be on PC. For console, it won't work. There's no way to make it work. Sorry. Uh, mainly because you need a cheat engine and this application for cheat engine. Um, I will leave uh, all this in the description below, so you can go ahead and download it, uh, PC users, in case you don't have it. I imagine a lot of you have a uh, Borderlands 2 save editor, though. But yeah. You need uh, these to basically make it work because this basically goes and takes Borderlands to a, uh, it's it's like modded gun deletion and turns it off because these are technically modded guns since you're swapping the skin. I mean, it doesn't really enhance their performance or anything. It just makes them look cooler, so you're not necessarily like cheating or anything. In case some of you are against that, um, but yeah, this goes ahead and turns off the uh, gun deletion. So what you're gonna do is you want to open up uh, Gene Engine here. Um, I don't know what happened to the symbol. Kind of broke, probably because I moved it around a lot. But uh, it's going to ask you something. It may ask you this, may ask you not. You just want to go ahead and click yes. It's like, do you want this, blah, blah, blah. This may make changes to you, blah, 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 blah. You know, stuff like that. We've all seen it before. So you want to go ahead and click on Borderlands 2. Like, after you click on this, go ahead and select Borderlands 2. And you don't want to close that. Keep that open. Then you want to open this. It's going to, may ask you the same thing. Don't know if it will. May not. May will. I don't know. Go ahead and click yes to that. Um, it will go ahead and bring up this thing as well. This isn't really important. Uh, it just tells you stuff. Nothing really too important, though. So uh, make sure, um, before you open this, though, <laughs> sorry if you guys already did it, but make sure you, like, before you open this, um, Borderlands 2 is open, like, here. I have it opened in, like, a windowed mode right here. So make sure that's open. And then what you want to do, you want to go ahead and click Enable, then click Scripts, and I'm not going to teach you guys, uh, what all this does. There are plenty of tutorials out there to learn how to use Cheat Engine for Borderlands 2. Um, I just want to show you guys basically the main thing and that's this. You click that to turn off gun deletion. It allows you to bypass gun deletion. So basically if you wanted to you can bring in modded guns into your game. And yes it does work in multiplayer if you are the host. But that's basically what, what we're going to be doing is bringing in like a modded gun technically. Because again if you swap the skins the gun is technically modded. It isn't like text mod where it just changes like whatever textures in the game but but yeah so then you just want to minimize that that's of no more use to you you want to go ahead and open up the borderlands 2 save editor Rahar. go ahead and click run and here it is so i'm going to go ahead and select the the save i use in my videos is this it yep this is it okay so basically um, one thing about this, uh, depending on like what you make, like see all these, these are games, not games, guns that are in game, like in the main game, like the vanilla game, but they have a DLC skin on them. Now see, you see here it says none. Basically, the first time you load up a save um, with a gun that's like has a gun that's you know in the main game but has a DLC skin, it will work. The DLC skin will be on there. But the next time you like close down this, the game, open up the save again, even with the gun deletion bypass turned off, the skin will go away. You have to re-put it every time. If it's a DLC skin on a in-game weapon skin, like a vanilla game weapon, like if I put the uh, the sword explosion skin on the conference call, it'll load up the first time fine. But when you like close the game, open it up, reload it. You'll have to put the skin on again. Don't know why it does that. Uh, if it's like a DLC skin on a DLC weapon, and they're in the same DLC, then yes, it will stay on. It'll stay on just fine. It'll reload every time. You guys are gonna see it there in a second. If it's like a vanilla game skin with a vanilla game gun, it'll load up just fine. So let's go ahead and make something real quick. Um, want to go ahead and click new weapon. Let's go ahead and put the, um, now the, the fun part is deciding. Let's go ahead and put, I don't know, let's put the Maliwan skin or the Hellfire skin on the, the bitch. Because why not? Why not? Why not? So basically, you want to basically start making the, the gun that you're going to like take the skin from. 
but don't make the entire gun. Just put in those two options and then go ahead and get the material. Then you just want to go ahead and switch. So now this is when you actually make the full gun. So I'm just going to put one together real quick. Not really going to worry too much on the details. Just going to go ahead and go with all Hyperion parts because Hyperion is Hyperion. Go ahead and give it an element, why not, and an accessory, because cause why not? So once that's made, this thing is going to tell you that it's an unsupported value, your weapon will probably go ahead and be deleted. Um, if you don't have the engine open with the bypass, it's going to get deleted, that's why console users cannot do this, unfortunately. But you PC users can, because you do have access to the engine, which is nice. So you just want to, not open, you want to save it. You can make a new, new save, or you can save it over that exact same save, that's what I'm going to do. Then you want to go to Borderlands 2 over here. You want to reselect the character, because if you don't, it won't like have the gun that you just made. So let's go ahead and continue. Now here you're going to see, see this? Remember, um, if you guys saw my last uh, weapon swap, well, like, s weapon skin swap video, um it had like the cubic zirconium skin on it but since it's a DLC skin on like a vanilla game weapon it goes away I'd have to re I'd have to put it right back but see here this is um the sludge shotgun skin on the Hyperion conference call since they're both like vanilla game they go ahead and go just fine same with the casual uh, sword explosion I think it's here somewhere here it is the rock sword explosion since you know the skin for like the rock gemstone weapons and the sword explosion are in the same DLC, they load up together. You could also, uh, I believe, you could also swap uh, shield skins, um, class mod skins, and uh, grenade skins. And relics don't have skins, so you can't do that. You could do that. Um, I don't know if you'd want to. I'm sure it would work just fine. But yeah, and since these two are basically, you know, vanilla weapons, the, the Hellfire skin is vanilla, and the bitch is a vanilla gun. It will uh, reload every time past this first time. So basically, that's basically how you swap skins. I believe I explained everything um, pretty well. Um, I don't normally do tutorials. This is kind of like a kind of unprofessional tutorial. But oh well, you get this. You guys should like uh, should be able to follow this and go ahead and do it for yourselves now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope that informed you on how to do it. Sorry that the wait was so long. Uh, make sure you uh, guys tell me what you go ahead and make. If anything looks cool, I'd love to see it. Love to see some of your guys' ideas, and maybe I'll even like showcase it in my videos if it's really that cool. So, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's the tutorial. That's how you do it. Now you guys can stop asking. <laughs> and I want to thank y'all for watching. And I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys later. Bye.